Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to implement a plain HTML5 JavaScript app without any dependencies and connect it to the, with the Java E uh, backend. And the Java backend is already implemented, so it just runs on Payara and emits an array of uh, three strings. And it's available under the URI numbers, uh, resources, numbers. So numbers is the path, numbers is the name of the application. What I also did, I installed the course filter, which is uh, just one class and the whole war is uh, ab about 5k. Okay, should work. So let's try that. Whether it works, so the uh, application server, Payara in this case, runs on port 8080. Numbers, resources, numbers was the URI and we see the output that it works. So I will just remember the output and what I would like to do is to render a list of items here. So how to do this? First, let's start with the hardest part. I would like to start with the client.js, but before I start with the client, I will just briefly explain what, what, what is the, actually the, um, the entry here. So I have an HTML page, which is um, very basic. So it just comprises the body with a div ID app, which is empty. And it um, references a JavaScript file, jar. It stands, of course, for JavaScript archive. There are no dev dependencies, so it means uh, no frameworks here, nothing. And uh, the webpack, webpack is configured that way that the entry index.js um, is going to be uh, transformed into a jar. And what it means transformed, I um, uh, um, configured a loader called ES2015. So what it means, I can use the uh, current JavaScript syntax. Actually, it should also work out of the box because of the recent Chrome. But um, yeah, this is what happens behind the scenes. Again, no frameworks involved. So let's see whether it actually works. So. Um, console.log and let's try with Duke and uh, so we have the Duke so it, it works the whole system works behind the scenes so uh, let's start with the client so I would like to uh, export uh, this class client class client and this class client will have a constructor constructor and within the constructor I would like to remember a string URI and this URI or URI has this URI, just copied from the browser. And um, what I would also like to do is to implement a method numbers and this method numbers defines a a result which is going to be a promise so we would like to work or to fetch the data asynchronously from the server so and uh, how promise operates so we usually have um, to register anonymous function resolve reject this is uh, the uh, conventional names and uh, what I would like to do is in the resolve I would like to call or to pass the result and we don't have the result yet therefore I would like to to um, instantiate this XML HTTP request and uh, the request has to be opened and what I would like to open is the get request and pass the URI. So it looks good. And then I can say request dot on uh, ready state change. So callback I can register. And I will use a anon anonymous uh, function again. And the request has the response text. And this is the raw result. And what I would like to do I would like to have the JSON representation, and this can be converted with the built-in function JSON to parse. And now I'm done. What I only have to do is to say resolve. This is my callback, and pass the result JSON. So uh, looks good. It won't work. Why not? Because we forgot to send the request. So I call send. So nothing happens because this class is actually not used. So uh, to use the class, I will just import that. Import client from from client. 
and I would like to create a class list. And within this class, create a constructor. And in this constructor, I can now instantiate my client. What I would also like to do to reference this div here. How to do that? Very easy. I can say uh, I would like to have a root element and this root element uh, has get element by ID. So there is a DOM um, method available in all browsers and um, app. So now I have the reference to the DOM. And then I can just say this client numbers. So and then if you are done, then please pass the numbers to a method render number. We don't have the method yet, but now we have it. Numbers. And this numbers is actually an array of uh, strings or, or, or integers. does not actually matter, but it's a number array. So what we can do, we can say for each number in the array, create an element. So, um, so how it look like? Again, uh, we can say for each number in the array, uh, convert it to an element. And I would like to have an element, a diff element, or with n. So and now we need the, fu the function el with name and content. And the document is able to create the elements. And I would like to create an element with the name. Let element. And the element, element has a uh, text content. And this is content, and then we can return the element. So this is the freshly created element. So it looks good. Now we have the map. We converted the map of numbers into into map of diffs with the uh, text content of the number. And then we can say, okay, now for each now of the um, we can, for each element, we do the following. we can pass this to the root and say, hey, this dot root dot append child e. And we only need, so it would look like this. And we have a problem in the client right now. Export default class client and it says on ready state change. So we have here the function resolve reject and looks good. Okay, now the client is saved. And uh, now we can say new list. And you see the output here, and the interesting part, this are uh, diffs. So we can say we would like not to have the diffs rather than, I don't know, piece. So we have the piece. Um, so what we created in dynamic HTML5 apps, um, which communicates with the backends with no external dependencies, and uh, just using uh, JavaScript and HTML5, and um, yeah, we could even attach listeners and click handlers or whatever. So for simple things, actually no, no HTML5 fr frameworks are needed. You could just go with the straight DOM and JavaScript API. So thank you for watching. See you in upcoming uh, workshops in Munich. So React, Angular, and um, HTML5 and JavaScript, and uh, at conferences, workshops, and enjoy Java, JavaScript, and HTML5. So thank you and bye.